I was inspired a lot by Kanye and by Ryan Olson and uh, my my uh, Volcano Choir bandmates. Um, just like you are inspired or informed every day, but I think the Bon Iver thing was sort of on its own island. What did you learn from Kanye? I was I was really inspired by his work ethic, honestly, and and um, there's been a few people, Ivan Rosebud, uh, the Rosebuds, for instance, throughout Mike's sort of short career or, or recording career, I guess, that when you watch them in the studio um, in front of the, the computer screen, how they edit, how they work, how they experience what they're trying to put onto tape and how they're trying to form it into you know whatever crazy idea they have i think their ability to be themselves mm. uh beyond you know any editing is is the thing that i think gets to you the most it's amazing guy it was a guy like kanye i mean everybody knows him for the sort of brash public persona that he has but mm -hmm. he's so prolific mm -hmm. like the guy's got to be working hard or pretty productive in the studio to put just the output is is there right year yeah. after year yeah you're someone who defies the kind of self-branding and self self mythologizing that goes on uh, in the bi music business. Mm -hmm. you, you've called yourself an introspective and emotional country kid. Yet every profile written about you creates a mythology around the fact mm -hmm. that you're a bearded genius living mm -hmm. outside the centers of the, the music business in Wisconsin. You left the, I mean, you, you're no longer in the, you're not sitting in the cabin right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, yet you're still this classic artist in the woods figure to many people. How do you feel about that characterization? I don't know. I mean, I think that the whole branding thing is is pretty... Uh, it, it seems you know that there's this there's this feeling in the music business that there's this pull towards independence and and major labels are sort of kind of their legs are being chopped off a little bit but i think there's even in independent music and i tread lightly because i think there's a lot of great things going on uh what i would call punk rock and roll things going on as far as shifting towards a better situation but there's still celebrity and i think that that uh that I don't I just don't don't find it very interesting to be mm. honest with you. Um, I I think that a mythology a story is is good, but I think that there's people can latch on to things because it makes a good headline or something. And I I just don't. But do you have a chuckle about this cabin guy thing, or or do you like it? I don't like I don't like it. <laughs> I don't necessarily right. give it the time of day. I mean, there's a truth. There's partly truth and right. partly fiction. You know. Have you made a conscious decision to not move to New York or L.A.? Is that part of your um, vibe that you don't want to be in in music centers or, or the business centers, I should say. It's certainly easier to not be there and to avoid the things uh, that I like to avoid. Um, like we were just talking about the branding thing or the sort of publicity sort of tornado that sort of can seem to follow people around. Um, you know, I like doing I'm like sitting down and talking to you. Is it's it's really fun. But there's certain things that you're asked to do that just don't feel very good like that you feel like that they're they're making this whole branding thing a reality like and what what don't you like i don't know well i'm gonna get in tons of trouble but like you know nme magazine in britain it seems like a gossip magazine to me mm. it's like uh indie music pornography or something right. it's just like it's kind of upsetting um and i think that it, not to just put that on new york or la but i think that it's 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 more independent and feeling to to be to live in my town of eau claire 65,000 people and to be doing what I'm doing and to be free of any sort of the uh, pathways that have seemed to be the only way you can right. be successful or something. Are you well known there? Yeah. Do people high five you on the street. So have you got a key to the town? Or no, something? yeah. It's sort of there's that <laughs> feeling like that's there. But I mean, I go to the grocery store and I might like recognize a kid that I counseled at camp or something. But <laughs> right. it's not like right. a weird. You're thing. not the superstar who's come home. They it, it, it sort of treat you as the guy who's always been there. Yeah. Or that there are just aren't superstars in my town. There just isn't <laughs> right. such a thing. Right. That's kind of Canadian too.